Okay, we've uh, moved the fixture over to number two uh, injector. Now we leave all this uh, original uh, calibration uh, uh, equipment on number one because it's it's calibrated and, and ready to go. And like I said, it's a factory set on number one. You don't touch it. So we got the gauge block and the fixture. It's it's uh, preset. Now. All we do is uh, install the dial indicator in the same spot as we did on number one. And the only thing we have to do is uh, move the rack into the no fuel position, which is always against the, uh, the stop, is always against the injector body. And we zero the dial indicator. And we let go. And we want a 3.50 millimeters. Remember, this gauge block is 3.50, so what we're doing, we have the same amount of, uh, of a gap as number one, right? So we know the injectors, the rack's at the same position. So we can check it again. Sometimes it changes like 0 0.01 or 2, because that's a little bit of play there, but yeah, let's see, 3.50. Four nine, we're still within spec, so that's all you want to do, and then you move on to number three and carry on. And I should add too that these hold downs are required. It's easier to take the rocker arms off when you're doing this, and uh, these hold downs that come with the cat uh, toolkit are required because uh, you have to compress the spring on the injectors, or the rack won't move. If you try to move the uh, rack with, without the uh, spring compression, you'll uh, uh, ruin the injector. So these come with a kit, and I've installed uh, hold downs on all the injectors at the same time, so you can just move along and do you know, one big swoop of the synchronization.